Hi everybody, my name is David. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I'm a life coach. This is Damar's Coaching. Welcome to this video. Um, today's video is about narcissists. How to identify smear campaigns. And it's a new way. I found an article that was really interesting. And so I want to share it with you guys before I get started. I'd appreciate it if you vote on this video, share it with somebody, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. So I found an article by Ike Kalsen with Live Narcissist Free at NarcissistExposed.com that I found really interesting. You know, I think most of you guys all know what a smear campaign is. Yeah, it's a very narcissistic person villainizing a target, attempting to isolate them by taking people away and controlling people around them. So I don't need to get into the definition. That, that's it. I think that a lot of us get confused. Um, some of us fall victims to this, which is awful and horrible. Those of you who have not experienced something like a smear campaign from a narcissistic person may not understand how damaging it can be. Um, there are people that get caught up in supporting smear campaigns. I see a lot of arguments. Um, I've been smeared here on this channel and I get a lot of people that, that um, try to uh, excuse their actions and try to uh, justify their actions and, and get in arguments of who's smearing who or what's a smear campaign and stuff like this. So I hope this video clarifies some of this for you guys. Being a narcissist um, or a victim of narcissist or if you are supporting a smear campaign, if you come across smear campaigns, not sure what's going on, not sure what to do, not sure what to believe. I hope this video helps. I hope you watch all the way through. I've made other videos about narcissistic smear campaigns and you can go watch them. Um, this one today, like I said, is about this article. The article is called A New Way to Spot a Narcissist Smear Campaign Using Data. So their question is, is how does one how does one narcissist cause so much damage to a human's life? And the answer is, it's not one person. The smear campaign isn't just one person saying things. It's a group. It's accomplices. It's help, support. Narcissists need accomplices, accomplices and societal systems to trap the victim, to isolate them. Here at Live Narcissist Free, we call that the ego system. And I looked that up and I might get into that maybe in another video. But they go into the uh, demystifying the three key components of a smear campaign. And the first one would be projection. And the second one would be the great savior, I call the hero. And the third is playing victim, victim playing. Yeah. The narcissist cycles between these to muddy truth and get accomplices to isolate you. The projection is according to narcissist abuse support. Narcissists have an uncanny ability to pathologically lie. They will use this to project their own dysfunctionalities onto victims by, relate, by a relating story. By a relating story. I think everyone in this world has been victimized. Victims of narcissistic abuse make the perfect accomplices for a smear campaign. Perfect. Narcissistic abuse is so awful, so emotionally traumatic. It could be the worst experience in our life, and it's not easy to heal from at all. And I believe most people don't. I think everyone can, is capable of that. I think most people don't. I think that if we have been repeated victims of narcissists in our life, there's something going on in our life that's wrong, and we're not fixing it. Okay? Um, <clears throat> and if we've been wronged so wrong by a narcissist and we're not healed, we have this outlook on the world that narcissism is rising. It is that it's so awful. It is, but we might think it's worse and we might think that nobody understands, which a lot of people don't. And we become self-righteous. And we don't like to see narcissism and narcissistic abuse in people. We want to stop it because no one helped us. So there are other ways of dealing with people you don't like or you think are narcissistic. And the first one is to heal yourself. But a related, a relating story from a narcissist is, you know, this person is narcissistic. They're a narcissist. They abused me. 
And if we've fallen prey to this before, it's very relatable. Number two is the great savior. Once they have convinced others the target is a bad person, unless they villainize them, they will A, maybe attempt to protect the person, the victim. They'll say, I'm helping them and I'm protecting them and I'm saving them. Then it might jump or it will jump to B, or it could go directly to B, and I'm saving everybody else from the victim. The victim is so bad, so toxic, they're a narcissist, and I'm saving everybody else around them because they're abusing people. <clears throat> then, playing victim, after convincing others that you are the bad person and must be stopped, they will play the victim. They will try to make you angry. If you react and you're angry and you defend yourself, you begin to isolate yourself even more and look worse. You're not allowed to react to what they're doing to you. This is all to isolate you. My personal example is I had a person five years ago ask me for help here in this format here on YouTube. Once I stopped helping them, they felt rejected and the first video came out right away. He's a narcissist. He's a predator. These videos came out daily, sometimes every week. Then it was, he's abusing people in this community and must be stopped. The great savior. I will stop them. I will do anything it takes. I will go down with them. I will take them down and save all of you. And then three, he discarded me. He abused me. He is the one smear campaigning me. See, they want to get you to fight, start defending yourself, maybe attacking them, and now they're the victim. Attempting to isolate by taking my subs, my friends, family, anyone that supports me. So this article shows two data charts, and the one is supposed to show activity of one accomplice. Smear campaigns will show consistent trends and patterns, and... Uh, the data chart will be on my thumbnail and you guys can follow the link in the description box to this article if you want to see the two charts they use. The narcissist will try to show proofs, evidence, truths. They will resort to anything and stop it, nothing to villainize you. But what's important is that they are showing you what they're really showing you is the volume and the amount of activity, energy, post accusations they spend and make. And so the first chart shows someone, two people, narcissist and empath, having a conversation, talking for days. And then the narcissist ramps up massive activity, calling you, harassing you, calling other people, making accusations as the empath dies down and doesn't do much. For anyone to believe that, to believe a person making hundreds of videos about another person and the other person not doing it back, it's pretty foolish. The article shows a second data chart and it's an example of an accusation from a wife about a husband spending too much. And the real evidence is forensic and can set you free if that husband had the real data to show he's not spending all the money. She's in control of it. But real forensic evidence isn't someone else's opinion or what someone says. The narcissist will go to any lengths, like I said, to support their false accusations and lies to form your opinion for you. I get strangers attacking me every day in the comment section, calling me a narcissist, literally just, just literally repeating everything that they hear from another stranger in videos attacking me. And it's embarrassing for them, not for me. It's embarrassing for them to see this, to see a stranger believe another stranger and come attack me for them, because that's all they're doing. They, they, they fooled you, they got you to attack me for them. They're being fooled. They have to believe accusations. They have to ignore what they're actually seeing because what you're seeing is a smear campaign and you know that. They have to compromise their morals. 
This is about being a bad person. You have to compromise if you value, if you have morals, and some of them are like respect and honesty and integrity, things like this, accepting people. You have to compromise those. And you have to justify your actions just like the narcissist is doing. You have to say it's okay to attack people. It's okay to be bad to people. It's okay to ruin people's lives and destroy them. Humans have rights. And remember this to all victims of you. Whether you've gone through this, going through this now, or you're going to go through this. You have rights that no one is allowed to infringe on. Peace, privacy, to make a living. If you have to justify your actions to take away the rights of another human being, it really doesn't matter what you believe about them. It's not okay to be wrong. It's okay to make mistakes, but you don't have to get involved in destroying another person's life. The fact that you're a stranger and you want to get involved, that you're interested in this, and that you like this kind of drama is very sick. There's other ways to go about how you feel. This is debilitating for people. To go through this alone and have people turn on you and things like this is awful. And I'm sorry for all of you who have experienced this, are going through this now, or going to. If you haven't gone through this, you might. You might. It's important to not be exposed to it, to not see it, to not look at it, to have people supporting you. To people tell you the opposite. To people tell you what a good person you are. Extremely important. The truth can set you free. It can. You have to be careful how you use it. Be careful that you don't react and be mad and angry and defend yourself. Because that's what they're going to try to get you to do. They want you to defend every single accusation. And the second you do, you won't be believable. You see, people tend to believe the first thing they hear about you first. And if they don't know you, they definitely will. And that's awfully hard to change if they don't get to know you. And this is why we don't get involved. An eye for an eye. Like I said, it's embarrassing when I see people come over and show their intelligence levels, how easily fooled they are by a narcissist, a narcissistic smear campaign. Um, if you guys feel comfortable sharing your experiences, I'd appreciate it down below. This is a safe place. You won't be attacked here. And uh, I appreciate you all uh, sharing your experiences. If you guys need help and support with smear campaigns, say it down below. Maybe there's something some people can do to help you. Um, again, subscribe if you haven't already. Share, like this video, um, and always love yourself first, guys. See you later. Bye.